Well, welcome to day two. Yes, it is early. And yes, we're gonna go try and film a sunrise against the mountains right across the lake. is how you start your mornings in Glacier National Park. Hey guys, we're off again another hike. Today, we are going to head up to Iceberg Lake. Well, not only did it level out pretty quickly, but look at the speed behind me. Well, so unlike yesterday's hike, we're a good, I'd say two thirds of it was down in the forest. This one, I would say looks like a good 90% of it is out here in the open where you can see everything. So we're trying to find bears, we're trying to find goats. We're not having a lot of luck. All right, for this hike, you're supposed to dress in layers because as you get closer to Iceberg Lake, uh, the wind blows off that lake and it's supposed to be a bit chilly. We're still quite a ways away but we're uh, coming around the mountain in which we're gonna be able to face up into the valley where Iceberg Lake is at. And in the, I'd say, last five minutes, we've had about 10 degree drop in temperature. So I'm thinking we're starting to feel the effects of getting close uh, to all the snowpack that's up there. All right, so if you guys are wondering about the safety out here, yes, I do have bear spray on. Yes, I am hiking with somebody, but this is also one of the most popular trails in this area. So we're getting, if we're lucky, two minutes before we bump into somebody else. With that said, if you do come out here, you know, take the necessary precautions and try to hike with somebody. But uh, we are definitely heading out into the wilderness. All right, we've made it to Tarmington Falls. See, this is why you dressed in layers when you're out in the wilderness because you get held on in July. So, we're finally getting our first good look at the uh, wall where uh, Iceberg Lake is right in front of it. You can see a giant snow field in front of it, or I should say on top of it. So, you know a place is huge. We've been walking towards this big wall of granite for a while now. And we're still not there yet. But, everybody who's passed us coming back says it is worth the hike to get up there. And let me tell you, these views are just absolutely epic. Take a look at this.
it's July <laughs> and we're on top of snow. Slippery snow. When you see a group of people standing and pointing at the cliff sides, you know there's an animal out there somewhere. No. All right, so we see what everybody's looking at. It's uh, some mountain sheep way up there. No way I can get a picture of them. And then somewhere there's a moose running around. Still looking for that one. We're going down to the lake right now. We just missed the sun hitting the lake. And if you look carefully, the ice um, is white, it's blue, and it's even pink from the sediment coming down from the rocks. But as we also descend down in here, you can feel the temperature is going down again. Alright guys, so we got some pictures down there. We had maybe five minutes of the sun coming down, but the water is a crystal clear ice blue. It's amazing. And uh, I can tell you on my little uh, thermometer, when I looked, uh, it was about 40 degrees. So be dressed for it because when that wind blows across the water, you will feel it. But man, that was awesome.